previous generation also did turbo scaling. So if you had an in, you had inactive cores, the active core would, would scale up in performance. In the previous generation, and this is true of all three of the new platforms, uh, in the previous generation you might have three frequency bumps as a maximum when you when when your when the cores that are when it were inactive were turned off, the active core would bump up three three increments. Uh, the new turbo architecture on the T36, 56, and 76, you could have up to seven incremental turbo bumps. So to give you an example, a, a, a turbo bump, the incremental um, number is 100 megahertz. So if you had a 3.2 megahertz processor, uh, depending upon the number of cores available, and if all of them but one were, were uh, shut down, you could have seven times 100, going from 3.2 to 3.9 in terms of the the frequency of the processor at a given point in time. And this is one of, the, one of the great features of the Intel architecture that applies across all three of these platforms, all four actually. Uh, turbo mode is great because workstation applications tend to be a mix of interactive, which are primarily single threaded, in other words, you're not using all your cores, or threaded applications for analysis and rendering applica applications, which use a lot of the cores. So the ability of the processor to dynamically uh, turn unused uh, portions off so that it can scale the performance up of the active uh, application is a great feature and really well, well suited to workstations. Mm -hmm.